Um, let's go with Dylan and Colleen. You're you're live with Eric and Can y'all hear me? Hey, yes, yeah, absolutely. Hello. Hey, how are y'all doing? Doing good. Yeah. What's up? Uh, nothing much. Uh, well, that'd be a lie, but I'll go ahead and make this statement of I am in the Discord and I'm Aria, and I just recently became a patronage. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, patron of AXP. So I'm rock on. Happy about that. Yay! Thank you. Yay! Yeah, but what did you want to talk about today? My fiance. <sighs> It's, it's kind of heavy, so I do apologize if I get a little teary, but um, I've been having issues lately, and just so you know, I know about recovering from religion and hotline and all that stuff, but I wanted to come here and talk about it because it, y'all might give me some interesting advice, and maybe it'll help someone, but... Sure. Go, go for it. <laughs> I'm going to try to be as quick as I can, but... I, I've been an atheist for six years, and I actually used to be um, a hardcore fundy um, of Christianity specifically, mm-hmm. uh, like to the extent of being homophobic, transphobic, to Satan put the dinosaur bones in the earth to trick us, and I would condemn people to hell, and I was just an awful person. But recently, uh, it's been poking in the back of my mind, like, going back to Christianity, I don't even know what compels me. I don't know what that thought is. Um, But I don't want to go back to that either because I know I'd be a horrible person. And why? Even my fiance, I, (laughs) she's, um, she's a trans woman. I love her to death. And if I went back to that, I would also be leaving her. And I don't, I don't know. I just, all these thoughts and everything makes me shaky the, the going, maybe going to hell. What if I'm wrong? And I know that's Pascal's wager. And what yeah. about all the other religions? But I'm sorry. I'm just no. getting real shaky. Yeah, it's no. okay. But, so what, um, the, you know, go um, ahead. it's, it's interesting. Um, Cause cognitively you got the pieces, but it takes a long time to process. And it's different for everyone. Um, we had a caller earlier who just offhandedly said, oh, yeah, I, I realized there's no God, and then I stopped being afraid of hell. <laughs> right. That must be nice. <laughs> like, that, that doesn't happen for everybody. And it, it just it varies so wildly that it sounds like what you need to do is process. It's awesome that you have, you've, you've gotten those resources together use them take take your time is there anything that's pushing you to try and make a decision right now you know that's that's the funny thing i don't know i I really don't and i I just that's the thing i don't know i don't know what it is and a part of that indoctrination side of me is going like oh that's that's god and jesus calling you back but it's, it's just causing further stress and it's, it's, it's very difficult to process, you know? Absolutely. I don't, I don't understand. Like, I've, I've been this way for almost six years, and now all of a sudden this just pops right out of the woodwork and it's driving me crazy. And even if I did go back to Christianity, somehow I knew I'd be living a lie. Yeah. I couldn't do it even if I tried my best to be the best Christian boy ever. It's, yeah, you can't, you can't unring you know that bell. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, you can't put the genie back in the bottle. And it's, um, it's just, yeah, you go ahead. So, wow, there's there there are a lot of pieces to that, um, and ultimately, unfortunately, they're not things that we can give you as a catch-all answer. Um, right, I understand. Can I can I ask you a question? It, you you have the right to not answer this. Um, you can ask me anything I want. People is, in the Discord know I'm an open book. <laughs> <laughs> so when you, um, when this happened, did this happen on the heels of maybe talking to somebody new or somebody in your life who said, you know, Christ is calling you back? Is is there maybe a catalyst? No, actually, yes. I'm, I'm at work right now, but I'm on break. And 
the other day, a guy came in the elevator with me. I do housekeeping as kind of just a placeholder job. So I find something better, but you know, he talked to me and I was just the casual banter of like, Hey, how you doing? And he was like, Oh, it looks like you're working hard today. I said, yeah, it's just a busy day. No big deal. And he said, I told him, he said, you got anything to be thankful for? I was like, of course I do. I got my friends. I got a roof over my head. I got my fiance that I love to death. And the conversation went somewhere that's good. And then, well, he said, maybe you won't lay down to sleep at night. Maybe you die, but maybe that's a blessing too. And you get to go see God. And what an asshole. Just kinda what a heavy, off. random like, conversation in an yeah. elevator. This is why I don't talk to people in elevators. I, I've, I, 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 I do, and it happens. Um, <laughs> can confirm. It, just, it went through my mind of <laughs> this guy said it might be a blessing if I fucking die. You know, um, ooh, ooh, I've got it. That actually, actually might ah, be what it was. Dylan. Yes, it, sir. It sounds like you are reaching into your epistemic toolbox and pulling out a tool that cognitively you know doesn't work, but you're still using it. Would you kind of, would you agree with that assessment? Um, perhaps, yeah. Like the indoctrination process is like just back there. It's not really doing much, but mm-hmm. that conversation might have pulled it out. But then I got the other epistemological things going on in my mind right now. That's like, no, that wouldn't make any sense. And the other reasonings I have of why just things wouldn't work if I went back that way anyway. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um. So investigate that epistemology and and really, you know, uh, try getting into skepticism. Uh, skepticism is the best way to sort those tools out and cut out the real, the real not useful ones. Um, oh, trust me. I am. I very much am. I, I followed AXP for like pretty much the moment I became an atheist and all kinds of other people and my critical thinking skills and everything has massively improved. I'm not saying I'm you know, this big smart guy who can take on anything. No, far from the truth. I just know what I'm convinced of and I know why I think the way I do and I can back some things up. But, um, yeah, trust me, I understand. But that is a good piece of advice because it's like I've never really, it never really occurred to me until now that like that stuff is lingering that bad. So maybe I need to put some more thought into that. You're right. I mean, so what I would regularly say is go and check it out. Go and explore because this is your life and you have every right to it. Um, And you deserve to, you know, go that way. The reason I'm hesitant to is because it sounds like you're in a loving relationship. And um, God, yes, I would hate for that to uh, suffer. But again, this is your life and this is the the process of living it so we can't tell you not to either um but what i can say is that in my experience and this is anecdotal um the biggest instances of pain in my life have come with the most growth um oh yeah trust me i i know just like i i relate to you a lot when you brought up the fact that you have like clinical depression i've I have that, and even just kind of throw back to the other caller that was talking about special education stuff. I actually, uh, I've never had special education, but I do. Uh, I'm an Aspie, <laughs> okay. so having depression and you know the anxiety and yes, even PTSD. It's like I have a lot more hurdles than of some other people, but you know I appreciate you being open with that, and it really helps me, honestly. That's awesome. Um, it, it sounds like you really took that advice, like. The, the one thing that always pops up here, and I'm I'm sorry, I know it's going a little bit afield, but what <laughs> what people I think really need to realize is normal has everything to do with you, not with other people. And so when really? you, yeah, when, when you take stock of yourself and your life, and you establish what wow. your normal is, then you're able to live and 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 work on that more fulfilled life because if you're basing your normal off of someone else then you're unable to you know what if you're setting a goal for yourself that you just can't achieve right i mean i can i can tell myself oh well you know normal for me is i can run 10 miles every morning because there are some people who do that and i would not live up to that and now i'm thinking i'm abnormal right base it on yourself 
And it, it sounds like you've done that. And I really, really like that. Um, I wish more people did. But take, Thank your, you. take your time, brother. Take your time. Work on that skepticism and talk to people in the Discord. I'm glad that you've got these resources. Yeah. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Um, I don't know if we're wrapping up here. Have any other questions? Is, do you? Um, so we, we have a hard stop at three because Atheist Vanguard has a new episode, and so we, want, we don't want to run over their thing. Um, so we do have other callers, but I don't want to wrap up on you before making sure that we were able to talk a little bit about if you had anything else that was really, really pressing. Not, not, not really. Like this conversation has, like it just sprung on me three days ago and it's already affected me like a snowball effect. Like third, my third day into this, I just to be completely honest, I don't even have half of the work I need to get done today. Like I can, I notice how much effect it's had on me mm -hmm. like right now i'm glad i could have this conversation and oh boy the, the lady my sweetheart sophie i'll proclaim it to everyone right here i love you to death and Aww. she's probably gonna want to have a i know she's probably gonna want to have a big talk later <laughs> sophie's getting love rings from the from uh our crew in the back too <laughs> i love that that's awesome <laughs> I really do appreciate that. And uh, I guess one little thing to wrap it up to throw, um, maybe get you a little lap in here. When I found out that RN Raw was there last Sunday when listening to your show Monday, mm -hmm. I wanted to roll over and cry because I've been to the ACA library. I actually passed you by when Daryl Ray was there and I got a picture with you before you left. Oh, yeah. Um, yes, sir. And <laughs> when I heard it, I came down there three times, and every time I brought the, his book down there just in case he was there to see if I can get an autograph. And the one day that I'm working on a Sunday, oh. he's there. I <laughs> missed him. I love him so much. He was actually the guy that was the last thing that got, pulled me out of that castle of glass with my face. Mm. He broke it down with a sledgehammer, you know. <laughs> That's how he does things. Yeah. Um, I'm, 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 I'm glad you're here. And exploring those things in your but life. y'all are. Dylan, exploring those things in your life and making the best out of this life that you have, we're not going to shame you. And we're not going away. You're not going to find yourself ostracized by us. It's okay. Yeah. Take your time. I appreciate that. I feel like my head is screwed back on a little bit better than earlier. <laughs> Good. Well, cheers. All right. It was good talking to you, man. Yeah, thank you all so much, really. Matt, Eric, Jamie, just everyone there, V especially. Just <laughs> thank you all so much for what you do. You all have changed me and many other people's lives for the better. What you all do is amazing, and I can't thank you all enough. And I know I'll be back there at the library at some point. Well, and yeah, when you sure. do, um, I'll be happy to see you, man. We'll be happy to see you. 100. All right. 100%. Next time <laughs> I come down there with my friend, we're going to come for talkies and anti Good. Perfect. Good. All right. We're going to move on to the next call. Take care, man. Yeah. Thank you right. so much. Bye.